Weather-wise, guys, we continue to track rain. That's why the weather ball is blinking bright. The view brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Uh, thunderstorms lighting up the sky just west of Muskegon and Whitehall. This cell has a history of producing some incredible rainfall rates and frequent lightning, and it's going to be in Muskegon and Fremont here shortly. So into Muskegon around 605 and into Ravana 641, Nuevo around 704. As you can see, uh, it's really coming down in Ludington and in Walkerville into uh, places like Lake County. 72 in Grand Rapids. Not everyone's going to see rain here this morning. Most of that aiming uh, north of I-96. Current temperatures in the 70s in Holland and Muskegon, 74 in Kalamazoo. Dew point numbers right now are steamy. These are in the 60s and low 70s. Uh, and this is really going to help to fuel these showers and thunderstorms. Yesterday's fog, uh, as seen from Grand Haven, Michigan, uh, high above the uh, lighthouse there. I love this shot. If you have any pictures you'd like to share, we would love to see them on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And thank you to Joel for this beautiful photo of that fog along the lakeshore on Monday. So scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up here. The best chances in the afternoon and early evening. A lull overnight, and then we'll do it all over again Wednesday and Thursday afternoons. Unfortunately, we will be dodging showers and thunderstorms for Independence Day as well. Not a washout by any stretch but we will see scattered thunderstorms. Waves around a foot today. Another good beach day if you can avoid the rain. Look at these water temperatures. Low 70s on the southern beaches of Lake Michigan and in Ludington. Your 13 on target forecast. So anytime you have a air mass as juicy as what we're seeing right now, you're gonna have chances for rain. So this is very tropical air mass. Chances today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday turning cooler and we're back in the low 80s for highs. Sunday and Monday.